So yeah, let's put uh, these uh, I'm audio cable with this pack aside and this one also aside because uh, what I'm trying to do with those is just to replace uh, the ones that came with this edifier S3000 Pro so I'm just trying to replace the what's in the box in matter of these cables with these ones from uh, Hammer and mainly this I'm trying to do so I will unbox now this uh, this Edifier S3000 Pro and I will test with my uh, phone with my TV to know exactly how they will work and now as you could see I'm in my living room so those are my stuff for, for my small child and let's see what we have inside so it's a box in a box which is great so double protection box in a box let's also cut try try to cut this sorry to see what's inside here so what we have here is two power strips so this is for one speaker because uh, the speakers uh, are connecting to each other wireless so there is not a need of uh, interconnecting cable for these 2.0 uh, speakers so we are speaking about edifier s3000 pro so we have here another uh, power strip for the other uh, speaker we have here an uh, connection cable if you want to connect these speakers uh, with uh, USB for the computer and we have three-way RCA to one 3.5 millimeter jack cable and we have here uh, user manual which is this I'll put it aside and we also have an uh, which is a tiny one a very interesting cable here which I have forgot to yeah, audio optical cable this is one because I have uh, this one here and I know for sure that I want to change because yeah it's very tiny this one so this yeah so I want to change it because I don't like it and we have a remote here which is secured in place uh, with a scotch
so this is the remote it's good with it came also with some batteries and i want to replace my these batteries with some uh, analog ones uh, because um, i don't mainly use batteries i only use uh, rechargeable ones so i put this here remove this which is secured in place very tight So yeah, this is it, so it's a big uh, polystyrene thing here and those are the speakers and for this I need to remove them from the box uh, piece by piece and they are very very hard to remove with a single hand so I'll pause this and remove them and after this we will uh, see exactly what we are speaking about okay so i managed to remove those they are quite heavy because um, the dimensions are those of the cartoons so the cartoon the boxes itself and we have a gross weight of 23.5 kilograms and the net weight of 22.5 so quite heavy it's around 11 kilos for each so it's quite heavy to remove from the box by itself because in the box itself in the box itself they are very wedged against the that polystyrene there and they could not be removed so easily let's say so if i'm doing this it's just to show you exactly what we have here and also this So again, I'm uh, in need to do it uh, off camera, but anyway, uh, we could uh, also have some, uh, let's say, unbox of this uh, studio monitor uh, isolation pad, which are uh, a sponge, a very good one from Adam Hall and we will see how this it will go let's unpack first those and after this we will see so I just managed to take out this uh, uh, mesh sleeve of those uh, S3000 Plus Pro sorry uh, edifier S3000 Pro and we have here the main uh, speaker that has uh, some inputs here so those are the rca uh, usb optical coaxial and here is the on off button uh, here is the power strip and they are very quality stuff from which I could tell and uh, still we will do a test let's also unpack this so this uh, Adam Hall is pad echo 2 so the isolation pad for these uh, speakers So let's see what we have in the box. 
представляет Германии. And this how they look. So let's see what exactly they look. So first one is like this and it has some cutouts so this is level this are uh, is angled down without uh, the pad from here and uh, yeah let's put it together like this and put the speakers above it So this is uh, the next one, yeah, let's put the logo here. So we have here the left speaker and the right speaker here and as I said the, the main speaker has all the connections the second one has just for the power one because uh, those two Edifier S3000 Pro are connecting each other via wireless which is great so here we have just the on off button power strip uh, here we have uh, also the power strip on of button. We have here the treble, the the bass, the treble, third one uh, from uh, bottom to top, and the third one here is the volume. We have here uh, two line in RCI, ESB, optical, coax, and the other ones. I don't know what it is, but I will search in the manual. So we have here the speakers from behind. So Edifier S3000, S3000 Pro and uh, those two speakers they connect uh, to each other via wireless which is super so it's not need yet another cable between the, them each one uh, they connect to a power strip separately and we have here the volume the treble and here is the bass here it's uh, the um, connection for balanced input so this is the lining we are to rca we have the usb input the optical one the coax one and the, here we have the on off button power strip and that's it and right now i am I will connect them to this uh, Samsung TV because I want to know exactly how they will work. Normally this it will be connected to my office, my desk, home desk office uh, and not in the living room because here I will have some other speakers in near future. So I managed to Put power to the speakers and also to put on the isolation pad under the, under uh, each of the boat so I managed to put power to the speakers and under each speaker I managed to 
also place the isolation pad because I don't want to have any reverb in this room and now because I don't want to use this uh, AAA cells which are not re rechargeable for the remote I had bringed uh, some uh, rechargeable ones so those are the Panasonic NLO Pro and I'm trying to somehow reduce the waste so I don't want uh, to delete our uh, earth more than necessary so the remote is feeling very good in my hand so removing this and put it the two batteries here so we'll have one like this and another one like this It's a good weight, this remote in my hand and uh, now I'm trying to connect to the TV so bear with me please. So if you want to connect the speakers to the TV you go here in the settings sound and select not TV speaker but something else so I will need to open the speakers right away one moment because I need I'm in need of the other remote to power the speakers on so Power. Yeah, of course they don't. They will not be power because I have not pressed the power. And also here. So an LED has been opened. And the LED shows as you could see the Bluetooth options. Yeah, we need to peel this off. So we have the Bluetooth there selected. And now I need to go to the TV settings, sound, Bluetooth speaker list. So we have here this one. Now it's connected. Your 
说他的石环是火山口里捡来的，还有人说。So the speakers could be the speakers could be um, volume up and volume down from the remote of the TV because they are Bluetooth. And the till now it seems that they they work very well. We will see after I will do a review, a full review of uh, how well they they sound in near future.